Hi, it's Will from StoneTheCastle.com and this is a two-part tutorial on how to make a military models and then how to make a military diorama and it's a, this is an easy tutorial and what I've done here is I've, I've already made one of the models. I'm going to do, do two airplanes. One is the German Stuka dive bomber here that I've already built and right after this I'll show you some of how it, uh, that's built and, and I've also got the other one here is a tiger shark so these will be engaged in an air battle and that'll be the second part of this tutorial the second video the making the diorama and in this first part I'm going to show you you know a little bit about making a model how you do it and how it's done uh, to do this project I picked up this uh, testers paint set for 20 bucks it's specifically for aircraft, military aircraft, because it's got the various paints. And it's got just about everything else you need, a little knife, the glue, a couple of different types of glue, and some brushes and stuff. And uh, that's everything you really need, 20 bucks. You can, if you have paints, you can, you know, you can get by by doing less. But, and, and I also have some extra plastic model cement. So let me show you a little bit here, a little bit of unboxing, I guess you could say, what you get in a kit like this. You get, you know, the tattoos, the stickers that will go on the aircraft or whatever, you know, military thing you buy. You also get the actual parts of the kit. And here we go. See the little guy there. And you're gonna, I'm going to put this together. And here's just some clear parts. This is with a cockpit. Right. And you get the directions. And it's been my experience that directions from these Revell kits are pretty good. You can follow them along and do a nice job. So I'm going to do a little bit, show you a little bit, I'm not going to show you everything, about uh, making models and about making military dioramas. And this one's going to be a little bit different, this diorama, but you'll, you'll, I'll show you. Okay, I wanted to show you a little something here. This is when you're building models, is typically um, you'll, well often you'll make it in like sub-assemblies, these small little assemblies for instance. We just finished the wing sub-assembly here and it has the guns and whatnot inserted into it so you have to put those in and paint them first and here's the fuselage sub-assembly right same thing applies I had to paint the you know the men inside the cockpit first put that in there and then now I'm at the point now where I'll be putting these two sub-assemblies together so I'll assemble the cockpit like the, the fuselage like this there we go nice and then I will be gluing the wings onto it and the plane will start to look like a plane I like that there we go See it? so that's how you often do it is sub-assemblies and uh, you gotta pay attention to the directions because you can see if I didn't paint those figures ahead of time I wouldn't be able to paint them very well now once they're in there and the guidelines, the directions, the assembly instructions will show you that, so things that you should pay ahead of time and of course I gotta put the wheels on it, all kinds of stuff still coming on but that's another thing I wanted to show you here is sometimes it's a good idea, not always sometimes it's a good idea to take a look at the instructions, go through the instructions and paint some of your small parts that require painting ahead of time, like these wheels are going to only stick out of the cowls these housings just a little bit so you got to paint them ahead of time. So some stuff you want to paint ahead of time, and I like to paint on the sprue. It makes it much easier to handle. You can paint. Well, the model is built. I finished it up. It looks great. And uh, see the bombs and the wheels and whatnot on the bottom. Landing gear. See if you can see that. So now it's time to do the painting. I finished painted it, painting it. Looks pretty good. And next I have to apply the decals, and the decals are pretty easy. It's a matter you cut them out and you soak them in water, and then you just slide them onto the various spots. So this painting is almost done. So I will show it to you when the decals are on and it's completed. There we go. The paint is done. The underside is painted a nice blue, sky blue, and it's um some of it's still wet, so I got to be careful here. But I've applied the tattoo, the decals. Tattoos, that's funny. And here's the front, the top. Let me go. 
So it looks pretty good. Turned out pretty good. So that's the German dive bomber. And next I'll have to do, so I can make the military diorama, I'll have to do the tiger shark, the American tiger shark there. So that'll be fun and then I'll be putting these into a diorama of battle, a battle diorama.